Hello guys, welcome to Data Crafting Lab. Trust you are able to learn one or two things in my previous lesson. I really appreciate you all. In this lesson, we'll be discussing Gantt chart. What is a Gantt chart? A Gantt chart is a chart that actually shows you a pictorial representation of your tax. Now, this example we, are, we have here now, it actually shows a clip of what a Gantt chart is. Now, with the data we have here now, we have products, products 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, now, these are start and they are production start dates, production start dates, and this is their production end dates, and what? We'll be getting our duration with this what production start date and this production end date. Now, with this information we have here now, we'll be get, using it to get our what? Our GAN charts. Now, let's start with this duration now. Now, we want to get our duration. To get our duration now, this is the what production start date, and this is when. Now, these are the products they are actually producing, and this is when they start the what producing this product, and this is when the what the production will end. Now, what are the durations it takes them to what to actually produce this what this product? That's what we want to determine now. Now, to get the duration now, that will be equals to now this the uh, that is the what the end date minus what the start date. Now, click on enter. Now, this is the what this is the Style. This is the duration it takes them to produce this particular one product. Now, now I can just I'll just bring my cursor here and drag down. Can you see? Now, after dragging down, now you can see now this is not in a date format. Is actually in a what? In a number format. Now we come back to this later. Now let's bring out our gun chart. Now on an empty cell. Now just come to home. Now click on insert. Now, when you click on insert, you see recommended charts. We won't be using a recommended chart. I'll come here. Now, I'll be using a column chart. Now, you can use a 3D bar chart or three or 2D bar chart, but I would prefer a 3D bar chart. Now, I'll use this third one. Sorry, this middle one, sorry. Now, I'll right click now. Once I right click, I'll click on select data. Now, select data now, I will add now, what that was my series name? That's what production start date. Now I will just delete this. Now come here, shift control arrow down. Now that's the first one. Click on OK. Now I'll come back again. Now for the series name again, that's our what? I won't be using the production end date. I'll be using the what? I'll be using the duration this time around. Come back here. Delete this. Now bring this shift control arrow down. Now click on OK. Now you can see now. Let me just drag this down a bit. Now you can see it now. This is the information we have here now. Now the next thing for us is to change these words. This axis now. That means what we have here now. We should change it along with what this word, this product names. I'll just click on edit. Now, add this label range. Now, I'll come here, click on this, shift control arrow down. Now, click on OK. Instead of having one, two, three, four numbers here before, it has actually changed now by default. Now, now you can use any scene of your choice. I just use this as an example. Now, we we'll click on what? We we'll click on OK. Now, the next thing we we'll do is this app in this blue bar now, we don't actually need it. Now, how do we what? How do we format it now? I'll just click on it. Once I click on it now, I'll right click. Once I right click, I'll click on format data series. Now, I'll just right click. Once I right click, I'll click on fill. Now, once I click on this fill now, I'll click on no fill. Can you see now? It's just like we faded it off. Not that we delete it on, in a real sense of it. Now, once we are done with that, now I can just close this. Since I don't need it again, close this. Now, if you look at our what? Our product. Now, if you look at our product list, our product list starts from 7 to 1. Now, we we'll prefer it to start from what? Product 1 to product 7. Now, to do that now, I'll just click on it. I'll right click. I'll click on what? Format axis. Now, when I, once I click on that now, you can see it here now. You will see categories in what reverse order. I'll just check this box now. Once I check it now, it has actually changed it now 
That means to what? To start from what? Product one to what? To product seven. Now the next thing is move our what? Our dates to start from the what? To start from the earliest or the beginning dates. Now if you look at the what? The dates we have here now. The production starts date. We have what? Second of what? Hey, sorry, first of February 2023, 10th of January 2023, 15th of what? January 2023, 4th of March 2023, 24th of February 2023, 11th of March 2023, and 12th of what? May 2023. Now, if you look at the earliest date we have here is what? 10th of January 2023. So we'll be using this now. Now I will just bring my cursor here. Copy, Control C, copy. Now Control V now, paste. Now once I pay this now, I will change this word, this date format to a word, to a number format. Now I can just close this for now. I don't need it. Close this. Now this number format, I will change this to a number format. I said to change it to a number format. Now I will just come here, click on this. Now you can see now it has actually changed. Now I will now bring my cursor here. Now, if as I click on it now, the format series is not and sorry, the format is not coming up. Now you can just click on what? Click on format axis. Now, once you click on format axis, as it's not popping up. Now, this where we have this minimum now. You can just what delete this. Like I said, you can just you come here, click on it, delete this, and control V now, paste. Now come down. You can see now, the date format has actually been what? Be reset. You can see now, we have 10th of what? January 2023. Now, once I'm done with that, I can just cancel this. I don't need it any longer. Cancel this. Now, you can see now. I can leave this or delete it. Now, this background color now, I can just change it now. To change it, I'll come to what? To change it, I can just come here, click on format. Now, let's just click on the word format. Click on shape view. Now, you can choose any color of your choice. But I'll prefer the word, this navy blue. Now, once I'm done with that, once we are done with that, if you don't want these grid lines now, I mean all these white lines now, you can just come here, click on it. Now, once you click on it, click on this box. Now, you can what? Uncheck it now. You can see now the grid line has actually gone. Now, this is chart axis. Now, this is chart axis. If you want the chart axis, now, chart label. Let me check this. And what? Data label for the what? The whole information and what? Data data label and that's for it so you can see the word the start date let me just increase this chart a bit let me come to this side and increase it a bit so that you can see it properly <clears throat> now let's put a chart title now let's change this to what to gant gant chart Click on enter. Sorry, Gan chart. Now let's come back here. Change this to you can use any format of your choice. Now the text, text color. Let me change it to white. Now the axis title. Now, now this is what. Let's name this as what production duration production duration click on enter now click on this come to home now boot or uh, let us to come to rear block now for this you can just change the text to if you want a background color, you can leave it in black or or the navy blue that is here and change it to white. And if you want to drag it, you can drag it a bit to the center. 
Can you see that? <clears throat> now, and for the axis title here, so same thing applicable to these two. You can just change these two. Or let's come here, change this. You can see it's look faded. Now, let me change this to white. The, the text to white, the background to be. Sorry, let me my cursor here back again. And the text will be white. Can you see that now? Now, this is the what? This is the. Let me close this. This is the data and data table. And for this, now we don't need this date. Now I can just delete this, right? Click and delete. Now for this, for this duration, now you can just come back to home, come to increases. And come to what here, change it to area black. Okay, I think we are fine now. Now, if you want to change the color, you can leave it on white or any color of your choice or black. Now, another thing will be another thing is the dates. Come here. Change the date to white. Let me see probably. Okay. I think we are fine. Now, for this table now, let's increase this also. Come here, change it to area block. Now, Change it to white. Let's increase the table a bit from the actual size. I think we are having something very meaningful than before. You can actually use it to create a dashboard, depending on your choice. Okay. What else? Now let's change this. Now, for this now, just bring your cursor here. Let me change this to what? Products. Now, these are the products we have. We have our products here, and our products 1, 2, 3, and 4. Products 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, let's change this place to what? To products. P R O D U T S. Now, click on Enter. Now, let's just come back here. Change this to what? Area block. Come back. Change it to what? Area block. Now, change the text color to white. You can see me. now we actually have products here. Now, this is how to prepare a what? A Gantt chart. Now, you can actually change the color of this bars also. You can just click on it. Now, once you click on it, now you come to what? Format. Now, click on shape fill. You can actually change it to any color of your choice. You can actually change it to any color. To any color of your choice. Okay, you can leave it black if you want it black. You can leave it red. You can leave it yellow. Green. Blue. Okay. Let's see it on green, purple. I think this green is a little bit better. Green, black, more. Red. Lemon. Let's use green. So you can use any color of your choice. That's how to create a word, a gun chart. First, you are able to learn one or two things in this lesson. I really appreciate you all. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel at data crafting lab click on the notification bell when i drop a new video you get notified okay. give us a thumb up when you like any of our video if you want us to work on any of the videos for you kindly drop that in the comment section see you in the next lesson bye for now